friends okay it is monday december the second i am so sorry i have been m.i.a <sighs> today is the first day i feel somewhat kind of normal <laughs> well i'm never normal y'all that um and it still comes and goes i have been nauseous i have been lethargic um, there was talk and issue of going to the emergency room and getting fluids. Um, blessedly, I did not have to do that once they said that. That's when I just started pushing the water. Um, I've gone through Sprite like there ain't nobody's business. Um, I've gone through Gatorade. Yeah, any and everything that I could do to try to keep from having to go. I think we're going to be able to bypass that step. Praise the Lord. Um, I finally was able to eat. I ate Thanksgiving dinner. We went to my um, fat man's sister's house. And we had Thanksgiving. And then the next day we got to go to Aaron's family's house for garage giving. They host Thanksgiving in the garage. It was decorated elegantly i expected no less and i was not disappointed um yeah nice linen cloth tablecloths um yeah yeah you would never know yeah garage giving is very elegant so thank y'all to um erin's mom and dad donnie and lee thank y'all very much for having this crazy bunch um, I think we had like 30 people. Um, yeah, yeah, with all her grandparents, and she is so blessed to have grandparents. Um, yeah, yeah, and her aunt and her uncle and some real good neighbors of theirs from down the street, and then we were there, so it was a very, very good fun time. Um, yeah, we stayed longer there than did at Bo's sister's house, I think. Um, they all had to go down the street and see the neighbor's new puppy. Um, Brian stayed even later than we did. And they played card games like Phase 10 and uh, Pictionary. Um, so he finally got home. But he did have a talk with her daddy. Yes, yes. So we are now officially in a courtship to lead to marriage. He did have a talk with her dad. So, yay! Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, today holds, if, and I don't remember if I posted this part or not, Big John, the sheriff from Lowndes County, where we used to live, where our farm was. And I've known him since 1983. Yeah, I, well, I, yeah, I knew him kind of, sort of, since 83. Really got to know him in 85 when I started working at the bank in Hainville. Um, real dear, sweet man. Um, do anything in the world for you. He actually came to our house one time when I was working at the bank and helped my daddy move a freezer. I mean, you know, <laughs> he helped my daddy move a freezer. I might have told y'all that story. I can't remember. I'm just going to try to catch up where I left off, but I don't remember where I left off, and I'm not going to look back. Um, I do need to do some... Yeah, you see what happened was I wanted to kind of wait till closer to cruise sale time. Um, yeah, I'm just up in a bun. I'm trying to compete. I'll never make it, Nikki. I will never make it, girl. And I've yeah, I gotta learn some tips from you. Her her hair, if y'all have never seen Southern at Heart, go over to her channel. I will leave a link and I'm gonna do it, I promise. <laughs> I will leave a link. Nikki is the sweetest, sweetest person. Um, they have four fantastic children. But Sophie May has stole Oma's heart. That is her youngest one. 
and honey she is the cutest thing she is precious precious i think they have four do they have five no i think it's four i have to look back and see if i'm skipping a kid i'm so sorry <laughs> but sophie may loves her chickens they have real chickens but um Nikki, honey, she can make the best bun I've ever seen. And so we had we had a little bun contest. I came nowhere close. She has very long, straight, thick hair. So she can make a bun. And in the south, she's from Tennessee. And in the south, you know, the higher the hair, the closer to God. <laughs> But mine is so curly, it comes out. Yeah, my my crazy show, and I might need to tuck that back in. But I teased her. She needed to teach me the art of bun making. I think mine needs to be a little bit longer. Yeah, I think mine needs to be a little bit longer. Anywho, getting off track. Always. Have you ever known me not to? Hey, y'all. I pray that y'all had a great Thanksgiving. We did. There goes my voice. We did. I am fixing to have to get dressed. I'm still in my nighty. We are in the process. I pulled out everything. I'm thinking about blowing out this candle. I'm not going to be in this room. I've got my candle lit. We are done with our Making Your Home a Haven Challenge. But, I still like my candle every day. No matter what room I'm in, I've got a candle in each room, and I will light my candle in whatever room I'm in. I've had this one going since this morning, even though I haven't been in here. It is Applewood Bonfire. I actually got from um, Aldi last year. Um, I will take my outdated candles and stick them up there like a seasonal scent. I will just kind of put up here. They go all the way back. They go that way. I've actually got some over that way. Um, that's my orchid pot. Any hazels. This is, this was my pumpkin spice. I'm actually putting away because that's a Thanksgiving one. Um, this is going to be a Christmas one. I can get down. The Applewood Bonfire smells so good. In the den, I've got my Bath and Body Works Winter Time. Uh, that is wonderful. This one I got at uh, Michael's when they had the 3 for 10 sale um, Yuletide Cheers so I will probably put this one in my bedroom because I still have my Yankee Lavender oh this smells good yeah this smells like apple cider yeah oh my goodness yeah, yeah I think I like it better than the Applewood Bonfire um, this one, I think I'm going to put in my room instead of my lavender. I've just been keeping my lavender, my Yankee Candle lavender. Um, I've just been keeping in there. I am actually going to put my cashmere woods that Becca gave me. I'm going to put in the thing in the cabinet. But that's what, how we do our seasonal candles. Yeah, this is my winter wonderland. Um, cobblestone candle. Okay, I actually got this one from Kirkland's. I can tell by the name brand. Yeah, where it came from. That one came from um, Kirkland's. So, yeah. We popped in there last year. I got some legs for our Christmas tree. <sighs> yeah. Um, but that's how I do my seasonal candles. I will take, like, my Thanksgiving smells. I'll just put them up in that cabinet. And then the next Thanksgiving, I'll bring them down until they're burnt completely up. And then, or if I find them on clearance, 
um, I'll go ahead and buy a couple for the next year. So, that's, that's how I roll with that. <laughs> that and I do soaps the same way, like the, the scented hand soaps. I got, you know, I got those Thanksgiving ones. They we didn't use very long. I put the kids' bathroom, I think. Um, and when we were all the, I found the sugared cherry. This is their Christmas scents. And then the sugar plum. Um, those are the Christmas scents. And Erin, because I gave her mom and gamma um, hostess gifts for hosted garage giving, she brought me a Bath and Body Works Fresh Sparkling Snow. I love the hedgehog. She knows I love hedgehogs. And this smells so good. So I put it up here at my kitchen sink. And I have retired until next time. My pumpkin. I actually had him down here last year. And now I'm going to stick him back down there till the next. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I do my cleaners. I put my, I pulled out my apple cider, and um, I think I'm about ready to put it up and pull out, yeah, my peppermint. Yeah, let's do that. But I will put away, like, my honeysuckle. I've had it put away since. Um, October yeah like for real and I'll just pull out this is from last year so I'll just pull out you know what we need so I'm gonna take one of these one of these yeah. Yeah. um anywho it is Big John's funeral today dark hallway um ooh, focus um I'm trying to walk and do and talk all at the same time um my bathroom is a hot flaming mess oh this is where I put the the Aldi soap I put it in here and see we didn't even use it really I just got it the other day I'll put it up for next year I think I'm going to put the sugar cherry in here and give the kids the sugar plum because Care Best said it sounded like um, the nutcracker, like the sugar plum fairy. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. That's the sugar cherry. Anyhow, Big John's funeral is going to be the, so many, so, so, so many people. Um, they knew were wanting to be there. Um, they did not have a facility big enough to do the funeral other than the um, Garrett Coliseum. So that is where they are going to see them take this journey out. That is where, dark hallway, that is where they're going to have the funeral. Um, I mean, that's where, like, they have the fair, they have, um, any truly big event. It's kind of like what our Civic Center used to be. I don't know why they aren't having it at the impact. That would have been more of a elegant place. Well, that wouldn't have held as many people. The Garrett Coliseum is the largest facility with seating. Um... So, yeah, I can kind of understand their reasoning on, um, oh, I forgot I got the apple spice, too. Um, but that's their reasoning behind having it there. So, um, we had talked about going. We were going to go. We had planned on going. Hold on. We had planned on going. And, um. Just, I have been in and out of the bed all weekend. Like, 
I'd get up and I'd do a few things and then I'd have to go and lay back down. I'd get up and I'd do a few things and I'd have to go lay back down. And that's how I've been since Tuesday. Um, I went and got that mega dose of gamma Tuesday. A different type. Not quite sure. But I've been sick as a dog since. And then Wednesday, I had to get my normal treatment. So, and then Thursday, we were gone. Friday, we were gone. Saturday, we were gone. And I think just that go, 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 go. By Sunday, I'd gotten up, gotten dressed, got ready to go to church. And I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So, um, Bo took care of Beth for me. And told me to stay home, go to bed. And I did. I went and I crawled back in bed. I slept all day. I got up that evening. And, and Mo kept coming and checking on me. And making me drink things. Because we knew we were, you know, I was getting at that dehydrated point. And, uh, in fact, that's why I'm pushing now. Um... And I got up that evening, he's like, you'll never sleep tonight. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I curled up in my recliner to kind of have a little bit of time with him. And I did, I fell asleep. And so, he's like, well, once you get in bed, you'll be wide awake. And I'm like, probably. I slept like a log all night long. He called this morning to check on me because I was still asleep when he left. And I'm like, I finally woke up at 8 o'clock this morning. That's when I woke up. And I have been playing just drag butt all day long. I don't even know what time it is. I don't even have on my watch. I don't even know where I left my watch. I don't know. I don't know where my watch is. I have no idea. Um, so I gotta get dressed. Order of the day. Hot mess. I need to swish and swipe my bathroom. He has actually done all of his laundry. Bless his heart. He has done all of his laundry. I pulled out photos. We have been trying to get out luggage. We're trying to uh, figure out luggage. I have got laundry that I need to hang up, put away, fold, do all that fun stuff. I got me some hangers from the thrift store. That is all I am planning on back it. Well, no. In fact, I ordered me some biggin' shorts. You know, biggin'. Yeah, I'm a biggin'. <laughs> um, and I ordered me a biggin' sw uh, swimsuit because I gained so much weight. I do not have enough shorts. That's why I've had to put pat like dressier clothes. I really don't want to be in 85 degree weather at Cozumel wearing leggings. That just does not appeal to me. I would rather, yeah. So I'm praying. I don't know if I can. That's as close as I can cross my fingers. I'm praying and crossing that they get here in time. They're supposed to be delivered the 4th. So we shall see. We leave the 9th. So we shall see. Um, we've got a busy week this week today, and that's why I was telling Brian today is the only day I'm really going to have kind of at home, and I'm still having to take it easy, and uh, just, you know, that's just kind of how I did last night. I would get up and do a little bit, lay back down, do a little bit, lay back down. And then I finally just slept like a log. So, order and the agenda of the day. Um, get those clothes done. I need to get dressed. I need to look over our calendar, make a big calendar for everybody to see and know what's going on. Because December is... Packed. Even though we aren't decorating, we aren't doing um, pop party, um, we've got other things and other events planned. We are so excited about the ones we have planned. Um, we're going to do the Century Santa with Carol Beth. 
which we always do. Um, but we're going to go out to eat as a family afterwards. Um, Saturday, we are going to go to a Dickens Christmas in downtown we don't go. We're looking forward to that. Um, yeah, yeah. So come along with us as we celebrate and get ready to do for our Christmas. Right now, I am going to see. This is what I want to do. Do you see what Doris is doing? Do you see what Tutabot is doing? These are things I want to be doing. Napping. Are you napping? Huh, Doris? You napping? She's like, leave me alone, lady. I'm sure Foxy's over on her side in her little bed over there. Um, I'm going to work on that laundry. Going to get dressed. I got to think about what we're doing for supper tonight. I made a rough menu plan. But I think I'm going to change that because one night I put down I was going to do that big hole. But he is so frozen solid I need a week. And they're about to thaw that sucker out. So he will be later in the month. Um, I got some pork tenderloins that were on sale. They had $2 off stickers on them at the Aldi. I paid like $1.77 a piece for them. So that's going to replace my butt night. Um, yeah. I got a big butt. <laughs> it's pork butt. <laughs> Anywho, let me get going with my day. We're watching the funeral service for Big John Williams. They've got it televised on two of our three local channels. Um, yeah, it started at 11. It is now 12, 28, and it's still going. They have got sheriff and deputies from all over. The United States sitting like in the stands. That's just on the the ground part of the Coliseum. But there are stands up all around. Yeah, it's it's sad. Hey, Heinz. Okay. Ooh, looking rough. <laughs> it is Monday afternoon. I've been kind of resting. I'm getting ready to get up and make supper. I'm going to do a quick, easy sheet pan meal. Um, I've got some kielbasa sausage. I've got some new potatoes. And um, I'm trying to think of what else to put on there. I think, I think I've got some carrots that I'm going to kind of throw on the pan. Just doing a quick, easy sheet pan meal. Y'all know me. I love a sheet pan meal. So, there you go. Um, anywho, I got fan mail, fun mail. Um, and that is always such an encouragement to me. Bridget Drone from Mississippi sent me the sweetest card. This has cheered me up. This has been the best medicine. Just the card itself has been the best medicine for me. It really has. But she, she was so, so cute. She put, put on your pearls and straighten your bow. Yes, yes. And she sent me some of the most beautifulest headbands. And I did, I'd been wanting some floral headbands because I did not have any. All mine. Look at these with the lips on them. I love it. Love it. Oh, I love that one. Yes. Oh, and floral. So, yes, thank you. So, and then she sent me some stickers for my planner. She said she had never been a planner girl before, and now she's a planner. 
and it has really organized and changed her her way of thinking so I am so glad that I've been an encouragement to you on that part but you have been such a true 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 encouragement and just lifting up my spirits and my heart thank you so much and uh, yes these will definitely be going in my bag for the cruise these are just so happy and cheerful so thank you Bridget she's from Mississippi gotta love them southern girls yes ma'am I'm a I'm a cherished girl today um, but yes thank you so much I, I do appreciate that um, very much so I'm fixing to get <clears throat> get started with my supper and um, I think that's going to kind of do it for tonight. That man had to go down to the farm. And uh, our old house has got a water leak. And so he has gone to go help my nephew fix that. Um, yeah, yeah. So it is what it is. Um, yeah. All right. Until next time, y'all, fix your bows. I'm just, I've got to try this one on. It is so cute. I love it. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got the wire like I like, so you can spread them out. Yes, please. Oh, how cute. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so adjust your bows. I don't have all my pearls, but yeah. And make sure your teeth are in good. <laughs> and I will see y'all tomorrow.